All right, today we're going for round 50 on town with Dono Punishments. I feel like this is gonna be a lot of fun with Dono Punishments. We've tried this a few times. I think last time, what, didn't all my perks get banned? Like every single one of them. So I literally didn't even get to like round 30. So yeah, it's just a normal game of round or town gets around 50, except for obviously who knows what's going to happen. I can't use starting pistol ammo. I forgot about that. Starting pistol ammo is already banned. Already making excuses. Listen, if I die, either I lagged or I sneezed or there was a full moon last night and I can't play zombies on the night after a full moon. Like there's an array of perfectly good excuses. Good boy transit remaster. Someone's making for BO3 should fix issues. I'll probably play the transit remaster. I honestly don't expect it to be great and not because I don't think they're going to do a good job because if it's a remaster, that is entirely different than reimagine. So remaster means like damn near copy paste, right? But reimagine means they change some things. And I think a transit remaster wouldn't be the best just because there are too many problems with transit, like a reimagine where they cut all the distances in between stops in half, no denizens and all the other stuff. Like it needs to be smaller map. It's going to be reimagined. A lot of things changed. Okay. That's different because that map needs to be like way smaller than it is. All right, I'm getting Jug. Jug MP5, good start. We go for Mustang and Sally next, and then we get our other perks, and then we start hitting the box. Because yet again, there's a good order of operations on town. You want to get MP5. You want to get Jug. You want to get Mustang and Sally, because the only other weapon that's good is either of the ray guns. Then you want to get your perks. Then you want to hit the box. Mustang and Sally, a funny streamer. I think you met Fallow. Thank you, Keyshawn, for the 20. You know what, Keyshawn? Thank you for donating it away before I pack a punch. You know what, Keyshawn? I will. I'll tip my hat to that one. All right. Thank you, sir. I do appreciate that. We're going to go see if I get a foul for you. If I get a foul, I am definitely getting it out of here. Oh, well, we already don't have Mustang and Sally, but it's OK. Well, now that I can't get Mustang and Sally, I guess I get Galva's and then I start just hitting the box, which I just love to do. I love to rely on my Black Ops 2 mystery box luck so much, chat. Can I ban Galvas? They want to ban Galvas, yes or no? And then is it just for this game or all games? Yes, no, I'd say yes, the game, all games. Okay, what does a perma Galva ban look like, chat? 30. Okay, I guess for 30, you can ban Galvas for the rest of the Black Ops 2 town attempts tonight. I'll wait a minute before I go buy them, but I'm going to go buy them soon. Actually, I'm going to go buy them now. And I'm not going to go buy them now. <laughs> Thank you, Keyshawn, for the 30. All right, chat. I'm glad. It, you know what? Okay, let's just go spin the box now. I'm glad I didn't buy them now. Thank you, Keyshawn. All right, no Galvas for the rest of the attempts. You were trying to get good box luck. Oh, Lucas, I didn't know you could just like, you know, can you order good box luck from Amazon or something, chat? Is it like a, oh, and you know, actually, no, an Activision good box luck is definitely a subscription service. All you have to do is pay $24.99 a month USD and you have plus 16% box luck. Actually, technically, like I said, you know, you have to pay for the Barry DLC to give you the Mark II. So technically speaking, this game is pay to win because the Mark II is an advantage on some maps. I mean, other one, it's an advantage on every map, but I mean, it's not like make or break on some of them. On like Nuketown and Town, it is. Wow, we are actually gonna spend like a total of 20k on the box with not even a rag on mark one i'm gonna pack a bunch of python after this because i just like can't get what i want so i need a decent weapon here soon i need something that's gonna last a little bit because i can't get any of the weapons i desire we're putting the python in there i need something here soon because if i just spend all my points on the box i'm gonna have nothing and that will be an issue opinion hard agree foul pat python thank you Keyshawn, for the 20 all right well um i guess pat python is just gone okay hey the the other the only reason I packed the Python is because I couldn't get the executioner. So you know what? All right. Um, I'm just going to pack a bunch of this now. There we go. That's exactly what I was hoping for for a while. Actually, no, I was hoping for the red guns. But this is the next best thing. Thank you, Keyshawn, for the 20. All right. Well, the path executioner is just gone. If I go over here and I spin a Python, I'm going to last my ass off. Please give me one of the red guns. Or Thank you again, Keyshawn, one of the red guns with the Python. Just do it. Eesh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go pack up on this next round. Hey, executioner, you're back. Even though, uh, it's not it's not packed this time, but it's back. There we go. You know, I spent so much money on pack a bunch now and have no pack a bunch weapons to show for it. It's okay. Oh, was that like 30k to finally? 
to finally get the ray gun mark one i think that was like 30k and it finally finally showed up oh my god expensive ray gun that was a very very pricey ray gun probably 40k it was like 30 to 40k yeah that was um i'm willing to pay that for a mark two but for a mark one we gotta talk game i know i didn't buy the better box luck dlc or subscription service or whatever we're gonna call it how better both of you got thank you Keyshawn, for the 40 and both of my guns are gone right now i bought the olympia so i can get the ray gun back right here and then point and laugh cat 40 is kind of not what i uh not what i had in mind all right remember when i said we could just start cooking now guys i indeed regret to inform you we are not cooking oh my god we are what's the opposite of cooking we're freezing chat we're we're microwaving i don't know we're, we're just not cooking okay i have a cap 40 and a bear oh uh, every time i'm doing a youtube intro and i have to talk about weapons i always say i if i get the ray gun or the goal but I, I swear every time I play BO1 or BO2, I end up with a ray gun and a goal at some point, chat. Every time I'm doing an intro to YouTube and I'm like, blah, 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 you know, if I get the ray gun and goal, then this, this, this one of my box hits. But now I, I, I swear I always have these weapons. The more iconic duo, insta kill double points. I mean, to be fair, that is fair. I mean, insta kill double points. Oh, don't grab the nuke. Stupid freaking bomb looking thing. Oh, hey, max ammo. Oh, hey, insta kill double points. Insta. Yes. See? See, this is gameplay. This is the gameplay I desire. I'm packing the Galil. You know what? I'll pack Galil just so that weapon slot is a lot more useful. But I don't need to pack the ray gun yet. I shall wait. I think what's a normal day in Ohio? Aliens, government agents. Um. Yeah, about it. You know. You, you walk outside and there's like an. You know, it's kind of like, you know, the aliens in Ohio that you guys hear about on TikTok. They're not like Roger from American Dad. They're not like E.T. They're more like, they're more like, um, that, what's his name from SpongeBob? What's the, uh, what's the guy in the red and blue suit that SpongeBob and Patrick know? And he's like the super evil villain guy. And, you know, yeah, it's the, uh, it's the one where he had the ID and, he was talking to Patrick and he was like, isn't this you? Yeah. So this is your ID. No. Well, who's that? Man or right? Man or right. That's what Ohio is like. Yeah, man, right at him. That that guy. That's what Ohio is like. It's not the cool ones like E.T. or Roger. And it's not like the super crazy ones like Independence Day. It's like in the middle. I don't even know if Man Ray is an alien, but he gives me alien vibes. So I'm just going to say He's close enough to an alien, you know? I lose a leg or give up video games. Give up video games. Even though that would really screw my YouTube stuff, I'd rather have my legs. Your YouTube could probably recover, your leg could not. Well, I mean, true, Justin. But here's the thing, chat, is like, how do I still be a YouTuber if I don't play games? I mean, obviously, there's a lot of other things I can do, but like, I don't have something else I think I could really do for YouTube. I mean, like, I guess fitness shit, but not really fitness shit. I guess I could maybe do history, but I'm not an actual historian. I have a four year history degree, but not an eight year PhD in certain like one specific topic. So like I wouldn't be too qualified to do that. I don't know. I guess I'd figure it out, but I don't know what I would do. Ohio finance. Ohio finance is like it's basically equivalent to caveman things where it's like I have six rocks and you have a donkey that I would like. Let's make a barter. That is Ohio stuff. That is Ohio money situation. The bank is just like a wagon full of medium sized rocks. Down self and switch weapons. Jesus also Christ, Cobra. <laughs> hey, with Riz, down self and switch weapons. Also, mini hoop dunk. Thank you, Cobra, for the 100. Thank you, Steven, for the two. My fall is gone. Oh, thank you, Rasifi, for gifting a membership. Hey, can you guys not stand right here? Um, in the no-no zone. Can you, like... Oh, I gotta switch my weapons, too. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, no, no, no. Thank you, Keyshawn, for the 50. No joke. Oh, I was flawless. of so like, 28. And I had all my perks. And now we're going without jug. No 1911, because all good fouls, all you need. Thank you, Keyshawn, for the 20. 
I mean, yet again, I guess thank you for waiting till I, uh... I, I didn't pack a bunch of it yet. Thank you, man. Boom. What? So how long are you gonna be in town? Oh my for? god, thank you, Lucas, for the hundred. Um... Well, if I don't get to something else today, Lucas, uh... What am I doing Sunday, buddy? No more quick arrive going for work as foul OP. Thank you, Keyshawn, for the 50. So I don't have to down myself, but now we're at no jug, no QR. Okay, this has immediately gone downhill. I'm just being a history major. Okay, chat. I think history major, I think it's one of the cooler ones you can be. Like, it's not the kind of cool where it's like aerospace engineering and you're like, wow, that's like, that's be working on rocket ships and stuff that's pretty cool man history is just a cool subject like guys what's your favorite high school subject because i mean i feel like history is one of the more common answers because math kind of sucks english kind of sucks science is only cool sometimes history was always like in high school history was that class that was like you know in math, you're really annoyed at whatever you're learning. In English, you just don't care about the book you're reading. In science, you don't care about learning about rocks because you get like some boring sections. But like in history, it's really hard to have boring history. The only class that I have ever taken in my life where I actually like regretted being a history major for a little while was women in early modern Europe. I had to learn about like random women from Europe, obviously from like the 14 and 1500s. I had to read about some Italian prostitute from the 1500s who, it, she was basically like gossiping about her clients and writing them in her diary and was like, she would have a client, you know, cause she's a prostitute and the client would see another prostitute and she was like, I can't believe Ricky has another blah 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 he's cheating on me and i'm like he's not exclusive to you he's paying for this then give me a harlot okay i mean i guess but listen here thomas that's a big word actually even though, even though prostitutes a little bigger than harlot <laughs> sorry guys i just had to freak out real quick <laughs> my brain just had to like pause real quick and like that was like the hardest pog it could I think I just pogged harder than anyone's ever pogged and then immediately went back to freaking talking. There we go. We finally got the weapon that everyone loves. I mean, actually, who doesn't love the Mark II? Any Mark II haters in this chat? There might be. Any weirdos in here? Raise your hand if you're a weirdo in my chat and hates the Mark II. Just know that if you do, you're going to be judged for it. But we won't judge you, but you're going to be judged for it. So, God damn it. Thank you, Keyshawn, for the 20. I'll miss you, Mark II. I'll see you in another 100,000 points. Executioner might actually be doing more for me than the ray gun right now. Like, if the Executioner had, like, you didn't have to reload each, like, little slug individually, Executioner would be molly whopping right now. Oh, yay, the one power up that really saves me right now. More money. Let's go. That's what I needed. Literally, just more money solves the problem of. I'm scared. Uh, thank you, Executioner. Oh my! Is Moon is underrated? Yeah, I said Moon was underrated because yeah, B1 Moon and Shang both fall in the same category, and that is like they're intimidating to play, so they get underrated. Well, B01 Moon and B01 Shang specifically. I firmly believe B01 Moon's underrated. It's a very fun map, but it's just a very intimidating one. That's it's very awkward until you learn the map. It is one of the most awkward zombie maps in history. Because the way you play Moon, it's very simple, but it's not like how you play any other zombies map. Because you have to keep certain things in mind. And then cycling power ups with Gersh's and Wave Gun is just something you don't have to do in any other zombies map. It's just entirely different and intimidating. And that's why I think it gets underrated. And then Shang's just intimidating because it's a difficult map. I'm 35 Mark II. I'm only going to get the Mark II when I need to, honestly. If I don't need to get the Mark II, I'm not going to go worry about it. I don't think I'm able to get to 50 off of one Ray Gun and Mustang and Sally, but are you ready to 30? Because I'm playing really fast. There's a certain way you play Town and other survival maps to play fast. Like in early rounds, you don't want to train them up and then shoot them. Like when the Ray Gun can still like one or two shot and you're not going to have like huge ammo problems, you want to shoot them as they're spawning out of the windows. basically, you basically want to like Instead of waiting for them to come to you after spawning, you basically want to, like, gun after their spawns. And then 
There's another insta-kill. And then you can play way faster. So that's why I'm on round 31 and like... I don't know, like, not even... 45 minutes, maybe. Give me 360 under the leg dunk, also hi. Thank you, Peter, for the dono. Just put a hole in the wall with my ankle. No. There we go. Are your ankles made out of? I don't know. Absolute steel. That was unfortunate. I don't know. Oh. How did I even go down there? Fast track for town is the best one. This is, I don't know about speed, but like this is the best mix of speed and safety, I'd say. And maybe there's like a faster area, like maybe over at Jugs a little faster, but it's not viable. It'd be more viable if, it still wouldn't be very viable, but it'd be a little more viable if you didn't have to open the Jug door, but obviously you need to open the Jug door for Jug, so. How about getting another job with your degree? Nah, because there's like not shit I can really do with my degree. It's you either teach or become a lawyer, which both is more schooling. And now I'm going to keep working on this channel, keep working on building up the other channel and hopefully just do this full time for the very long foreseeable future. How's a history degree have you become a lawyer? Um, well, no, it's in history. You do learn a lot about like law and not like a shit ton, but you do kind of, it, you know, it comes up quite a bit. And then for some reason, like, to go to law school, you kind of just need any other bachelor's degree and history is always like one of the easier ones that branches over pretty well. It's one of the easier bachelors to take you to that. So you sure Iron Sights is low-key goaded. I mean, it's good, but it's just not optimal for this. You want Mustang and Sally for instas because DSR is too slow to use. And then once it falls off, you have to train them up entirely to use it. So you want to keep Mustang and Sally. It's way better for instas. I need that. No, I need that. Okay, well. I need that. Oh. oh, I love instantly downing. Oh, oh, well, I love it. Oh yeah, I love just blinking and just being down. I love being full HP and then down without even being able to blink actually. Yes, this is what I desire. I don't have any more quicker vibes after this, so I think I'm gonna have to go for the Mark II. I think I have to play safe. Which just sucks because I'm going to be here for like six hours hitting the box. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Finally, it's done. City. Don't. Jesus, that's. Why am I getting red screened so goddamn fast? <laughs> like both of my downs were instant downs. And then I've had like five escaped red screens like that where I just go nothing and then insta red like i just i don't even get to think it's just red it's all just red on walkers suck i agree the inconsistent speed zombies just make life so much more annoying on these maps like just go the normal speed dude it's like people who drive under the speed limit i mean yes the speed limit means you're only supposed to be allowed to go this fast but that also, in an unwritten rule, is like, go at least this fast. Doing decent at the moment with stream. I'm loving the Resident Evil series. Okay, so if you're like playing Res, then to games like Res, like you could just go Dying Light or like, maybe you can make videos of just beating like, like, like story mode games like that on like the hardest difficulty or something. Or if you just want to be a Let's Play channel, then stick to those survival horror campaign type games like the way YouTube works is YouTube wants you to be ultra specific. Like the less games you play, like the less different ones you play, the better. Like YouTube likes the fact that I only play COD Zombies because it knows who to show my videos to. It knows the exact audience that's going to want to see Call of Duty Zombies. So like it's harder when you're playing a lot more games like that. So if you're playing a more variety sense and want to start a channel, you need to make sure they're all roughly the same game, like Resident Evil, Dying Light, other games like I can't think of other games like that's all my head because that's not my genre. Like I hardly pay attention to anything else anymore, except for like the things I work on. So like my second channel, I think the direction I want to take it is I'm going to be playing survival games and I'm going to be doing the I survived 100 days idea. So I'm going to be doing like right now I'm halfway through seven days to die. I'm going to do Subnautica. 
I might go to the forest. And then I've heard like about Project Zomboid and some other games like that. Like I have a way of specializing a variety type thing. So that is my full tips on like how to develop an idea for YouTube, honestly. But then even past that, titles and thumbnails are huge. Wait, I'm almost out of monkeys. I'm out of monkeys too. Are you kidding me? I, I guess I had to pack a bunch of Mark II now. This sucks, but because I'm probably not going to get a max ammo off this Mustang and Sally stuff. So I guess we're packing Mark II. But yeah, then past that, there's a whole other learning curve because YouTube is a very steep learning curve. But that's my kind of advice on starting the channel. How's getting around 50 taking so long? Because that's how survival maps work. When you don't have an infinite damage wonder weapon, you can't kill the zombies at lightning pace like you can in every other game. So that's why maps without infinite damage wonder weapons take way longer. Like these survival maps take forever because you're just relying on a ray gun or a ray gun mark two. And then like managing ammo with them is difficult because you want to shoot fast enough. It doesn't take you eight hours to get to around 100, but or 150. But also you uh, don't want to shoot too fast or you're going to just burn through all your ammo because yet again, you can only really use the ray gun in a Mark II. So that's why survival maps around 50s take forever compared to other ones. Can you see way more fun when you had no idea how to weigh zombies? Very true. Town was very fun when I didn't know how this game worked. And then I learned how the game worked. And then I'm like, yeah, all this little obnoxious shit going on. Town was more fun when I was playing with my friend camping with a packed RPD right there. Those were the days of town. And then I discovered not being shit. And then I was like, wow, this sucks. <laughs> I still love this map, but it's just not fun past like 30. How much time would it take without the Mark II? I mean, my Newtown game took like three hours because I didn't get the Mark II until the very end. And then I just refused to use the Mark II because I was so mad that I spent 200,000 points not getting the Mark II. It depends on like, when in the round you get your max ammos and then your ray gun luck, actually. So I can't actually put a good number on it because it's just random. Wait, Chad, didn't I say once you get to town round 50, you can start talking to girls? Chad, am I going to get a girlfriend now that I got town round 50? Remember that joke from like three months ago where I said, once I get town round 50 on stream, I can get a girlfriend. Oh no, Chad, am I going to have to get a girlfriend? No, no, someone, I got to end the game, guys. I can't be having this. The girls are going to flock to me when I told them I got town round 50. No, they're going to flock to me, chat. No, I got to end the game. It, it was a good stream. Thank you all for coming out. Thank you, guys. Die on 49 might have to die on 49 with one zombie left. But that way you guys know that I did successfully do it. Basically, you know, wink, wink, you know, but can't have this chat. No, not women. Anything else but women. No stays wrong. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared of women, man. <laughs> I think we did it, chat. With a quick revive to spare, too. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say yay, but let's wait a minute. Hold on. Well, let's actually watch the round flip, and then we can say yay. Hold on. Yay! 